very colorful. Hey everyone, my name is Christoph Jakob. I'm a music composer for video games. I've made a lot of Splatoon reaction and analysis videos lately, haven't I? The next tune that we're gonna look at today will actually be the last multiplayer track I'm gonna dissect for a while, mainly because I'd like to focus on some other projects here and there too. Speaking of other projects, I now have a second channel that I'm gonna use for non-music related streaming, let's plays, stream highlight videos and other random shenanigans. Basically whatever I'm coming up with that might not necessarily fit my main channel. Link to that down below. Today let's check out Aquasonic by the newly added band H2O. Let's go. Nice drum intro. Very fast paced. What a way to start this tune. Aquasonic is a fast-paced multiplayer track with a lot of alternative rock and jazz elements here and there. Straight away, we're greeted with a drum fill, if you can even call it a drum fill, since it's at the beginning of the song. During the entire intro, we get to hear a synth arpeggio, so a repeated sequence of notes that outlines or at least implies a specific chord. It's playing the same kind of figure. This figure doesn't really change melodically, even if the chords behind it do change. It does, however, change rhythmically, and I think that's exactly what makes it so interesting. Aquasonic is just an irregular 4-4 time signature, but it almost sounds a little to me as if the synth arpeggio is playing in a 15-16 time signature. I tried to recreate it in FL Studio to show you what I mean. The chords we've heard so far are actually quite colorful and a little bit unusual too. The progression should go something like this. One thing I'd like to point out about the production of this tune so far is that the rhythm guitar can actually only be heard on your left ear for the entirety of the song, whereas the lead guitar can only be heard on your right ear the entire time. I'd actually consider this a fairly unusual mixing approach. Oftentimes, especially these days, you have the rhythm guitars at least doubled. One of them is completely hard panned to the left, the other one is hard panned to the right. And the lead guitar is either centered or at least somewhere in the middle. <laughs> the way they decided to place the guitars into the mix in Aquasonic though really helps make it a little more lively. It leads to a nice and wide stereo image. Also a nice guitar tone. This section here feels actually quite straightforward, with not that many changes happening. The chord progression stays roughly the same, at least during the first half of the section. They did add some more upper chord extensions into the chords here though. The sound of the vocals, as well as the general structure of the vocal melodies, actually reminds me quite a bit of Wet Floor. There's nothing crazy going on whatsoever, those are some really basic but nice melodies. Speaking of sound, the thing I probably like the most about H2O is the bass tone. It is very clearly audible, it's snappy, it's present and full, while not really stealing too much of the attention from the main melody. If you ask me, similar to Wet Floor, I think the bass is the secret star here. And I'm sure that whoever recorded the bass for H2O must have had a lot of fun. Did you also notice that the rhythm of both the guitars and the bass didn't really change at all? Take another listen. Also a nice guitar tone.
I think it's because of this consistency in groove and rhythm that the vocals feel like they're more clearly in the spotlight. And whenever there aren't any vocals, I'd say it's the bass that creates just enough melodic interest to keep you want to listen to this tune. The bass is going crazy here. <laughs> also just in general, the chords are really interesting. Man, this tune goes so hard. The tune continues using chords with a lot of colorful upper chord extensions and a bass line that almost seems more melodic than the actual melody itself. I've been using the word colorful throughout this entire video so far to describe the chords and I quickly want to explain what I mean by that. When composers speak of colorful chords, they often refer to chords that aren't just your regular major chords or minor chords. That's not really an official definition whatsoever for it, but I'd say a chord becomes colorful when you're making use of notes that go beyond the fifth in a chord, or more specifically, beyond your regular triad. I'm gonna play along to what I think is going on during this section and talk a little about what makes this chord progression so colorful. Da, 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 da. Most of these chords are either 7th or 9th chords. When you have a 7th chord, you basically just add a 7th on top of your regular triad. 1, 3, 5, 7. Or major 7 to be more precise. Which leads to a so-called major 7th chord. In the case of a major 9th chord, you add just another note on top of the 7th. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Which leads to something that sounds like this. Very colorful. I honestly think they decided to call this tune Aquasonic for a reason. While the first section reminded me a lot of a rooftop run, especially from Sonic Unleashed, This entire section here just screams Sonic Adventure 1 to me. I've never actually taken apart Sonic Adventure 1 music, maybe I should do that in the future. Also notice how the final chord chump of the example that I just played is once again happening between two chords that are a tritone away from one another. I've already talked about that in my video about Ripstop and Go. A tritone is considered one of the most unstable and dissonant intervals in music. Yeah, da, 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 da. Just like in that previous song, it doesn't really seem out of place here either. Honestly, when I first heard these two songs, I liked them, but I didn't really find them that special. But now that I've actually taken them apart, I can safely say that this is probably some of the most harmonically interesting music or multiplay music in Splatoon so far. Man, this tune goes so hard. Especially the bass. Oh, double time? Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe if you have not already.
<laughs> Follow me on my socials, join my Discord server, subscribe to my second channel or check out some of my original music. Thank you so much and I'll see you all next time.